So bruv, are you ready to go for another round of sound testing? <laughs> That's the spirit. So what we have here is the Super EQ S2 headphones. So this has been around for more than a year, I think. Uh, there are YouTubers who already reviewed it, but I think the reason Super EQ decided to send me the S2 model is that I, th I think mainly they were impressed with my bruv here with the sound quality, the binaural test that he could produce that makes my video unique, if you see what I mean. So um, I would love to review any of the headphones, so please do keep sending through, by the way. So about this uh, headphone, by the way, it has the Bluetooth version of uh, 5.0 so it's actually one stage down to the latest 5.2 but that's still fine because the, the lip sync is going to be fine um, when you actually watch news or any films and etc no latency whatsoever uh, the impedance which is 32 omega plus minus 10 percent and sensitivity of 102 plus minus 3 db charging time up to two and a half hours and um, you can use up to 45 hours which is very impressive actually and the bluetooth range of 10 meters and etc which the rest seems to be pretty standard but overall i do like the design and the color of it i think the way how it actually ends on the end with the round tip makes it very unique but enough said let's get into the unboxing and trying out the sound test with my dear bruv here so here it goes okay so let's open it up uh so pretty straightforward so we got the usual pouch which we actually have the goods inside with the Super EQ on it. And these are the wires. So one is for, you can see the, uh, that's for the plane, isn't it? Plane jack, I call it. Uh, the USB-C cable for charging and also the earphone jack to earphone jack. Now I'm actually so rich. I got so many of these actually. This is very useful by the way. Um, and inside we got the instruction manual here um okay so wow okay <laughs> i love the color it's very funky isn't it and um yeah definitely a really good quality build i would say we've got a really nice uh generous cushion here and the way how you adjust to your head is by moving this up and down that's very unique I've never seen it so far, but I'm sure there's a lot of models available. Uh, there's a Super EQ on both end and it just goes all the way through like that. This is where you actually um, charge with your USB-C cable and this is where you put the earphone jack and that's when uh, you call someone, um, mic, etc. And I like that pattern, that's really nice and settled and overall I love the color and I actually did ask for this color of orange and neon green. So the track we're going to try out is called Versetti by Jiggler. I hope I pronounced it well but anyhow let's get on to the testings. <music> Thank you. 
let's do a sound comparison against my Sony XM4 headphones, shall we? So here it goes. <music> Okay, so let's do a sound of my own test actually. So I'm simultaneously connected to my uh, phone here with two of the headphones here. So let's listen to the same track. So here it goes. So far, very similar. Wow, really good. Normally, if the one sound is superior to the other, you would actually feel like the center has actually been moved from one side to another, but actually the sound quality itself is it's actually focused on the center, which is really good. Wow, very good. <laughs> Even the sharpness as well. Oh, wait a second. That's interesting. You know that tiny sound going up, that uh, knuckle sound, um, you can't hear it from the Super EQ S2 model, um, but the Sony X4 you can. Yeah, definitely. That's interesting. So the um, treble sound and the beat sound, it's almost identical but when it comes to that fine details of like individual sounds like the tiny sound of that background you can hear from the sony xm4 but you can't but is that important that's something i leave it up to you so bro that was a very interesting test wasn't it so overall um i'm really impressed with the sound quality of the super eq s2 model i mean it's definitely a massive improvement from uh, model s1 you would have noticed from my previous video i used my dear bruv here to do a sound test of super eq s1 against the sony xm4 and one audio monitor 60 and you could definitely find out that um, Super EQ S1 model, the treble sound was weak. It definitely needed a lot of improvement there, but the S2 model here, not only the color and the design is unique and it stands out, but it's like the treble and the 
uh, beats it's like bang right into your face uh, kind of follows the theme of uh, be young and be free with which is the main theme of super EQ now regards to the design itself uh, I got a bit of a big butt issue here which is that if I extend it to the maximum and if I were to pr place it in my head yeah that's the problem here so I wish it, it could actually slightly extend more because I feel a bit short here for my sort of shape of head which is wide and big yeah I don't know whether you can see that but anyhow other than that um, obviously it doesn't have the um, the function that as, as Sony XM4 has but it actually does have the noise cancelling function and a lot of definitely improvement from S1 and um, I got a bit of another issue here which is that because it's so cool um, when you look at it you kind of wonder what sort of fashion should you wear to uh, fit with this sort of uh, design and color um, I don't think it is actually for me I mean a guy like me who's over four years old do I have to wear a hip-hop kind of thing but then again any youngsters out there they'll definitely love this sort of design that's one of the things I want to point out I mean it's a compliment but for a guy like me who's old like old school or a bit more older generation I have to think about what sort of cool thing I could wear to follow the design of this coolness if you see what I mean but overall well done Super EQ uh, massive improvement and um, you have proved that um, thing, a lot of things can improve I mean the quality of the material itself is really good as well um, you don't feel like you're using a well 40 british pounds or more than 50 us dollars kind of quality of headphone um, but it's really good i mean the good weight the design the color the sound quality is all really good but anyhow i hope this video answered your query but if you have any um, questions anything you want to find out more about this device please do not hesitate to comment down below and i'll come back to you as soon as i see the comment so thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.